Today we're showing you how to create shells, uh, give them execution permissions and then later on uh, executing them. Uh, shells are programs which uh, link the user and the kernel so anything which has to go from the user to the computer goes uh, via the shell then the kernel and then the computer hardware and the same way back so uh, okay let us just uh, make a small uh, shell program so we just say gedit uh, say hello.sh so we're asking gedit to create a shell uh, shell named uh, say hello make sure you write the extension dot sh there we'll say echo on screen um, hello this is my first shell program uh, if you know terminal commands uh, pretty well then uh, shell scripting should come naturally to you because most of the commands are basically your uh, terminal commands okay, so that is it uh, we'll just save this and close this Okay, now we'll just see permissions here. So ls stands for listing the current files in the current directory. Minus l stands for the full format, and we just say say star to list the files starting with just say. So these are the files which start with this. Mm. Okay, this 51 is basically useless, so we'll just remove this. So you can see this is the file we created. Uh, this only has uh, read permissions here, read and write permissions. So we'll give it uh, execution permissions to just us, and then uh, we'll uh, withdraw all the permissions from uh, everyone else. If you want to see a video on uh, uh, detailed explanation of how to give permissions, you can check our description below. So we, I just type chmod uh, seven zero zero and say hello. Again, we'll just see. You can see I've been given read, write, and execute permissions. So now I'll just run this. Press uh, dot slash. That stands for current directory, and uh, say hello. You can see this is up and running. So this is how to create shell programs, give them permissions, and then uh, executing them. All right, guys. Thank you. Like and subscribe.